This is Randall Root, and this uh, video is about ADO.NET, specifically about using a data adapter class. I'm going to be using Visual Studio uh, with a previous project I had made. On that project, I have four, three buttons so far, but I'm going to add a fourth now. The uh, name of this button will be changed over to data adapter demo and as previous I'll take the code from my earlier demo and copy it to the new method. A data adapter class um, is used in conjunction with a data reader, a data set, excuse me. The data adapter has a data reader already made in it. So if I'm going to use a data adapter, I don't need to instantiate a data reader object the data adapter will do it for me. If I'm going to use the data adapter, I don't need to do the uh, make a while loop. The data adapter will take care of that for me as well. So I do need to make a, a data adapter object. And the data adapter object has a number of um, commands that we'll use, or properties and methods we'll use. The, uh, there's really only one method that you use on a regular basis, that is the, the fill method, which uh, goes ahead and fills up a data set. You can see by the definition here that the fill method returns a data uh, you're given a, a data set to fill up and some other options as well. The properties that we set are the select command, the insert, update, and delete command if we're going to insert, update, and delete into the data set and want to synchronize it back to the original database. In our case we only want to do a select and fill up a data set with the results. So, to that end, I just need to make, I just need to uh, go ahead and create a connection, um, I need to, I should say, map to the command object we have, the select command. And that tells it what the SQL statement is, it also tells it what connection to use which server, what database, etc. Then I need to fill up a data set, so I need to make a data set. Data sets are actually under not under OLEDB or SQL client or Oracle client, etc. They're actually in the system.data namespace. Now I'll use the fill command to fill up the results into the data set. This, um, this method's overloaded and uh, one of the overloads is pretty handy. It's the name of the table that you want um, to be put in the data set. The data set is an array of objects. The array is disguised as a in-memory database, disguised by uh, including things like um, 
the words uh, data table, data row, data column, primary key, foreign key. Although it is a collection, uh, an array of objects, they can be treated very similar to working with a database, which is handy. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and call my new data table um, list of databases and that'll work. Once the fill command's called, my data set will have the results. I can go through and loop through the rows of the data set, just like I would an array. Mm, let's see here. I guess I'd want to go through and say use a for loop. And the length will be the number of rows in the table uh, list of databases. Okay, so for as many rows as you have in the table, I want you to keep looping. Now, I'd go through and say, um, let's uh, make a, a reference to this. And we'll indicate that we're on row 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. And we we'll extract the data by using a multi-dimensional array notation. I'll say that uh, I want column, well, in this case, zero. This is not a And in order to do something with this, we probably should put it in, oh, I don't know, how about, um, how about a message box like we did previously? I'm going to do a convert. And I think that'll do it. One way to find out. Put a breakpoint like I did previously, and I'll give it a run. Now, I look at my tables. There's one table inside. And that table has let's see where are your rows? Has a number of rows. Thirteen. So, I'll go through and pull out the column values and pop up the results. Again, the data adapter automates the process of going through and filling up a data set with results. The data set is a in-memory me uh, array of results that uh, is treated and acts is very similar to a uh, standard relational database. So in this video we took a look at how to use a data adapter object to work with um, your uh, database results.